Whenever the two poor brothers would come to the rich man for tzedakah, for charity, he'd give them each a hundred dollar bill. Now once it happened that after a gap of more than a year, one of the brothers returned to the rich man alone. Where's your brother? inquired the rich man. He passed away two months ago. Oh, I'm so sorry, said the rich man. May the Almighty comfort you amongst the other mourners of Zion and Yerushalayim. Thank you, said the poor man. The rich man promptly placed a crisp hundred dollar bill into the poor man's hand. Excuse me, said the poor man, but you forgot my brother's hundred dollars. He's dead, replied the rich man. Yes, said the poor man, but I'm his brother. Why should you get his inheritance? <laughs> The Torah considers someone who averts his eyes from the needy as though he worshipped idols. Now, ostensibly, the connection is difficult to understand. Stinginess is a lacking in our relationship with our fellow human beings. Idol worship is purely between us and God. Really, every mitzvah that involves giving to our fellow beings is a reflection of our relationship with Hashem. As it says in Divrei Hayamim Chronicles, everything is from you and it is from your hand that we have given to you. We have nothing to give except the giving itself. Everything else belongs to God. The medieval Torah commentator, the Rosh, writes, Do not make gold and silver your folly, for this is the beginning of idol worship. When we give tzedakah, charity, properly, we're acknowledging that we are merely the stewards of our wealth, that it's not ours. In addition, by using our possessions to serve God, we testify to the fact that the world has a purpose, that the point of life is not self-gratification. We acknowledge that we, and everything we have, is part of God's plan to bring this world to a state of perfection. That's both our inheritance and our bequest. <laughs>